possession. Syracuse thinking one word here tonight, Ray. Sweet. You bet they are. They want this over quickly. While you'll get their most desperate game, you can discourage them early with a good first period. Opening faceoff is set to go. Referee Jill Levesque is ready to drop the puck. The quest for Lord Stanley's mug continues right here tonight, and we are underway. Takes a shot. Off the mark. Goaltender's in good shape. There's not much room at all there, and he ends up shooting it wide. Answered the call there. Grand Rapids takes possession along the wall. Steps into it, and it comes up with the save. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Joseph's won it in their own end. Gaunt's picking up steam. Let's one go. Stopped by the goaltender. The Griffins take it across the line. The Crunch have the puck in the defensive zone. Here they come. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Misses. Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. Moves it to Svechnikov. Huge stop by Gibson. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Here they come on the attack. Into the corner. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Turn that chance aside. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Gibson's able to recover, and he makes an unbelievable save here. That's a good chance. Grand Rapids wins the draw. Lashoff's lugging the puck. The Griffins are on the attack. Quick feed to Smith. Oh, what a stop by Gibson! The Griffins win the faceoff. Syracuse has possession of it now. Takes it across the blue line. Snaps it on net. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in the scoring zone, and you don't even test the goalie. Grand Rapids moves it ahead. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Syracuse gains a hold of possession. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Lashoff's got the puck now in his own end. Gaining momentum along the boards. Drives to the paint! Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Thomas gains the zone. Grand Rapids tries to break out from their own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Snaps one here in the slot. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center right in the slot. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Syracuse plays it along the wall. Grand Rapids takes possession of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. The Griffins have the puck in the corner. Takes the pass. Comes up with the stop. Syracuse moves ahead with the puck. Looking to set up offensively. Cuts into the paint. Stopped by the goaltender. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. 
Syracuse slides the puck against the wall. Receives the pass. Sends it across the ice. The Griffins will play it in their own end. Grand Rapids plays the puck along the boards. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a chance. What an opportunity. He puts it high. Looking to pop the water bottle off the top of the net. He shoots it too much over the top. Dumps it in. Syracuse has it near the wall. Carries the puck up through center. Here's a blast. Denies him. He got all of it. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Past the midway mark of the frame, we're still scoreless. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Great feed from the left side. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. The Crunch have gained control of the puck along the wall. The Griffins have it behind the cage. Takes the feed. Sends it in on the attack. The Crunch have taken possession along the wall. Sends a pass over. Syracuse has it against the half wall. From the slot, he scores! And look who it is, who delivers! Oh, it's the young guy. They don't really expect that your young guys are going to carry your team. But he's on the board with his first career playoff goal. Now, coaches talk about getting to the front of the net. Make it difficult on the goalie. Take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. The Crunch have taken a one-goal lead here in the first. Are you surprised it's not more? I am. I think this is a well-deserved lead. They've had the majority of the shots and of zone play. They're able to capitalize, and now we enter into that last half of the period and see if they can control the game. Grand Rapids has it in the defensive end. From the right side, they gain the zone. Takes a shot. Oh, the minister of defense with the block. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Tries to the crease. The Griffins look to start the transition game. Sends the pass over. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Let's it go. And that one stopped. Syracuse plays it along the boards. Grand Rapids gains a hold of it. Through center. Puck grabbed by Smith. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Grand Rapids looks to break out in their own end. The Griffins work it through center. Grand Rapids on the attack. Moves right to the middle. Here's a shot. Great stick save by Gibson. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Players call this eating the puck. Sometimes you got to lay down to block a shot. That's a really good play. Getting into the later stages of this period, Syracuse has the 1-0 lead. Grand Rapids takes possession off the draw. And that carries off a stick. Syracuse moves it quickly along the wing. And a few players on that bench go scrambling for cover as the puck goes a little too close for their liking. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Syracuse will go to work as they win the draw. Inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. The Griffins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Enters the offensive zone from the left. 
scoops up the puck now. Great poise here as he gets it back. Right in the slot. Stones him with the blocker. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. Grand Rapids has it in their own end. The Griffins will play it from the defensive zone. Fires it on net, and he stands tall in goal. The Griffins take possession off the faceoff. Takes a wrist shot. Stick save and a butte by Gibson. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Grand Rapids has the puck. The Griffins take it along the wing. Here's a... Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. Grand Rapids had a couple of players kick the boards in frustration on the bench. That shot hits the post and the lead does not change. The Griffins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Syracuse gains control of the puck. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Wow. There it is, his first career playoff goal. He doesn't have to wait very long to celebrate that. That's a great feeling getting on the board in the playoffs. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Here in the late goings of the period, Syracuse has really pushed the pace over these last few minutes, leading by a pair. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Scored by number 20, Sean Day, assisted by... Here's a chance with the stop. The Griffins have it against the wall. Syracuse will try to make something happen. He scores! You know he was nervous. The rookie gets into his first playoff. That first career playoff goal will help him relax. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Syracuse probably doesn't want this first period to end given the way they played offensively. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Scored by number 16, Otto Sambi, assisted by number There's the whistle. Offside is the call. 19 minutes, 49 seconds. Syracuse will likely take this lead into the first intermission unless things completely bottom out here. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Well, a very one-sided first period finally comes to an end. Tonight is our team poster giveaway. If you find a sticker on the inside cover of your program, go to guest services to receive your team poster. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Period number two underway here. It's been an absolute mismatch through the first 20 minutes. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Syracuse, he scores! And a big one at that! Oh, the rookie comes through in his first playoff year with his first playoff goal. A 
quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. And they're going to mix it up between the pipes here. I'm not so sure the guy coming into the game is going to feel so excited. Their team has just been destroyed tonight. The Crunch have been playing about as complete a game as we've seen in quite some time from them, Ray. Perfect from the goaltender on out. This has been an outstanding night for them. Syracuse goal. Scored by number eight. Takes the feed. Alexander Volkov. Syracuse has it in their own zone. Matthew Joseph. And by number 25. Shot. And, and he puts it wide. You have to get it on net here. You've got a great chance to score, and you don't even test the goalie. The Griffins are in transition. Takes a shot, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. Into the attacking end. Driving right to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. High quality chance, high quality save. Nice zone entry on the left side. The crunch have it in their own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Syracuse plays it against the boards. And he regains control of the puck. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Boyle's always been able to make the difficult save. He makes one here on that wrist shot scoring chance. Syracuse has found a way to get a lot of pucks on net, and they continue to lead in the second. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Another stop by the goaltender. Denies him! No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. Syracuse has generated a lot of offense here early in this second period and a big reason why they lead. The Griffins take possession off the faceoff. Handles the puck. Steps into the offensive end. Lets it fly. Denied by the goaltender. Gibson's been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. Cutting to the front of the net. The Griffins grab possession to the puck. Down the right side and into the zone. Syracuse looks to move the puck from their own end. With possession along the wall. Let's the wrister go. Oh! He's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. The Griffins take it along the wall. Makes a move in front. Big save. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Nothing doing on that. Slides the puck over. Puts it high. No, oh, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he... Doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Through center along the wing. The Griffins gain possession in their own end. No one home on that play. Syracuse takes possession along the wall. Picks up the puck in his own end. The Griffins move it in. Here's a chance with the stop. Nice pass. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Syracuse plays it along the wing. Here he is, wrists it on net, denies him in close. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. The crunch have the puck in the defensive zone. Syracuse steps inside. A shot, misses a golden opportunity there. Turns it away smothered that in close chance and puts it right over the crossbar here's the chance to set up now oh the glove save where'd that come from Boyle's a little bit fortunate there he makes a terrific stop but he just gets a piece of it to keep it out of the net
Syracuse seems to be scoring on every single opportunity based on the chances they've created up big here in the second. Takes control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Barber. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Takes a shot. Comes up with a big-time glove save. Here's a shot. There's another stop. Here's an offensive chance. And now it's grabbed by foot. A little back and forth. Hicketts moves the puck. Takes the pass. The Crunch have taken possession in their own end. With some open space at center. From point blank range, gives them nothing in front. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Gibson's able to make the save as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Syracuse came to play. They lead it 4 0. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Wrist shot from the slot. Wide of the net. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. The Griffins take over on possession. Gains the zone through center. Takes it into the slot. Oh, what a save with the stick by Gibson. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Maintains possession. And that one's broken up. Great block there. The Crunch have gained possession off the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Taken by foot. And that goes off a player. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. You saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass. Let's it go from the slot. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. Syracuse plays it up ahead. Hangs onto the puck. The Gs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Here's a short pass to Thomas. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. From behind his own net. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Receives the pass. His reflexes on display tonight. Gibson's been on his game right since the puck hit the ice for the first time. No matter how much pressure he's been under, he's been calm and he's stopped everything so far. Syracuse has been all over them tonight. Offensively, they have been clicking on all cylinders. Moves it to the offensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Out front. Snaps one on net. Denies him in front. The Griffins scoop it up along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. Grand Rapids plays the puck from the corner. And he comes up with it. Boyle's probably had a few saves tonight. He's felt better about than that one. But he got just enough of it to keep it out of the net. Syracuse probably doesn't even need to rest in this second intermission based on how they have looked so far tonight up big. Grand Rapids will go to work here in the offensive end. Stones him in front. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Gibson's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. In the final moments of this period, Syracuse just absolutely putting the boots to them, leading 4-0. From in close! Blocked in traffic. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Here's a chance and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if he can't get the puck at the goaltender. Smith's got it in the defensive end. Handles the puck from the left side. Takes a wrist shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Grand Rapids takes possession of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Syracuse tries to break out from their own end. 
Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Snaps one from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and another big stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. The Griffins play it along the boards. Here's an odd man rush. Paddled away by Gibson. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Nice zone entry from the right side. Syracuse has the puck in the corner. The Griffins take possession in the defensive end. Here he is in close. Oh, what a save in front. Up along the wing. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Takes a shot, gets in front of it. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalie gets the blocker up to make the save. Syracuse has generated tons of offensive chances, and as a result, they lead big late in the second period. Grand Rapids wins the faceoff. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. As a safety issue and courtesy to you, our fellow fans, please keep the aisles clear during game play and wait for a break in the action to leave or return to your seat. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Griffins puts it in for the goal, and the rookie is on the board! What a nice way to jump into your first playoff year. You get on the board, and you can relax a bit. This has got to be so frustrating for a goaltender. You get beat all kinds of places, but through your legs really feels like you left something open that shouldn't have been. Grand Rapids has a little momentum now here in the third. A goal will give you some, but they need a lot. They need to start piling the goals up. They might even get the goalie out really early. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Joseph. Here's a shot and makes the save. Grand Rapids has possession of it now. The Griffins take it across the line. And the puck escapes the zone and they'll be forced to tag up. The Griffins look to start the transition game. Moves the puck. And he gains the zone here. Let's it go! Shucks him down. Gaunce carries the puck in his own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Syracuse gets the puck near the boards. Quick pass to Barber. Grand Rapids takes it across the line. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Foots lugging the puck. The Griffins gain possession along the wall. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Takes it to the front. Denies it with the kick save. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Syracuse plays it against the boards. Nothing. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Grand Rapids gains the zone. And he takes a shot. And there's the save. The Griffins will play it against the boards. Chris one. Oh, what a stop by Gibson. If you're going to make the save as the goalie does here, you've got to read the play and have the reflexes to execute the save. 
Syracuse has generated a lot of offense tonight, and they lead it big time early in this third period. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Smith. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Takes it to the net. Too much congestion blocks the shot. The Griffins will play it through the neutral zone. Syracuse gains a hold of possession. Across the line and on the attack. Puck picked up by Rasmussen. Into the offensive zone. The Crunch had the puck in their own end. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Puts it on net. Makes the save. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Takes a shot. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Syracuse has been impressive to watch tonight. Numerous scoring opportunities, and they have converted on most of them. The Griffins win the draw. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Uses the boards with the bank pass. Across the line from center. Takes a shot, and that sails over the net. He's trying to get rid of it as quickly as possible, but that's got to be on target. No room for that one to get through. Blistering shot, denies him with the save. Takes the feed. Lashoff's got it across the line. A chance on goal, and he makes the save. The Griffins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Syracuse has it in the defensive end. Through center along the wing. Keeps hold of the puck. The Griffins have it from their own end. Sends a pass over. Moves it around along the half wall. To the low slot. Stick save and a butte by Gibson. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. Well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. Well past the midway mark of this period, and we've got a 4-1 hockey game. Grand Rapids with a big defensive zone faceoff. The Griffins will play it in their own end. Svechnikov's got it on the offensive end. Here's a shot stopped by the goaltender. From the back of the cage with the puck. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. The Griffins gain control of the puck against the wall. Denies him again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Gains the zone through the middle. To the front. Stopped by the goaltender. Gibson's always a battler, and here he makes a great save on this chance. Syracuse with one of their most dominant offensive performances we have seen in quite some time, up big time in the third. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Hicketts plays it now. Grand Rapids is on the attack. Takes a shot, denied by the goaltender. Gibson's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Takes control of the puck. Takes the feet at the back end. Here he is from the slot. Puck scooped up by Joseph. Gaining momentum up along the side. Moves inside. He scores. Oh, 
Oh, that's got to stink. He stopped most of this shot, but it's still got enough velocity to go into the net. The Crunch have been nearly flawless tonight. Fair to say there, Razor? This has been one of their best games. Certainly their best in the last couple of weeks. They've had the puck most of the time. They've got this huge lead that they're just going to cruise in with. Sends the pass over. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Gibson. That's not even a rebound anymore. It's like a cleared puck. Off the goalie and into the corner is a safe place. Syracuse plays it along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Smith. Here's a shot. Scores! They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. This is where you want run time here in hockey, right? This game can't end quick enough. They're getting pounded. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. Syracuse has added to this lead. Look at the gap here in this third period. It's insurmountable, it seems, at this point. Now, this game just has to end for both teams. Get out of here and go on to the next one. Takes the feed and makes the save. Slides it across to Smith. Syracuse is across the blue line. Goes right to the crease. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Moves it to Rasmussen. Makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck. It's a forest of bodies in front of him. Gibson's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. The setters will glide into the dot. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Stays with it. Stopped by the goaltender. Gibson's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Handles the puck. From point blank, the blocker saved by Gibson. Quick feed down low. Takes the feed at the point. Syracuse gets a hold of it. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. The Griffins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Dumps it into the O-zone. Syracuse has it near the wall. Slides the puck over. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Griffins take it along the wing. Syracuse looks to go on the attack. He's got a step. Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save. Syracuse gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Grand Rapids moves it quickly along the wing. Fires it, and a great save! Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Nice pass. Takes the pass. Syracuse is in the offensive zone. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Played big in the moment there. Boyles all but beaten on this scoring chance, but he makes an unbelievable desperation reach for the stop. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Syracuse takes possession off the face-off. The crunch have taken to the offensive attack. He was locked in there. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. I want to go back to that chance we had just a moment ago. The goalie reads the play well, makes a great save on a really good scoring chance.
Grand Rapids takes possession off the draw. The Griffins have it now. Along the right side into the offensive zone. The Griffins have it against the wall. A chance in front, and he gets a paddle on that one. He scores, and look who it is, who delivers. Oh, it's the young guy. They don't really expect that your young guys are going to carry your team, but he's on the board with his first career playoff goal. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Move to the middle. Chase right in front. Came up with the save on that play. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Buck has dropped, and we are back underway. Accomplished. They're moving on. Hammers the shot, and that one flies over the net. The Griffins can only shake their collective head. That's another chance, and they don't get anything for it. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. They may not be talking about it in the room, but you know we are having that conversation, and fans as well thinking sweep now, Ray. Well, 3-0, the series totally in hand. It's only happened a few times that someone has been able to come all the way back from down 3-0. James Sabalski, thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.